there are similarities when comparing the stems of monocots, that would be the group which includes grasses and lilies, and dicots, which include the majority of flowering plants. In both stems, ground tissue composes the majority of the structure, surrounded by the external epidermis. In both, there are vascular bundles, where the xylem transports water and the phloem transports sugar. And the clusters of phloem sieve cells are located near the clusters of the xylem vessels. The differences are that in a monocot, these vascular bundles are scattered throughout the stem, while in dicots, they form a ring. This ordered structure in dicots allows the parenchyma and pericycle between the xylem and phloem to fuse and thus form a continuous layer all around the stem known as the vascular cambium. This is a lateral meristem, which then allows more lateral growth or secondary growth. In a woody tree, almost the entire trunk is composed of secondary growth produced from the vascular cambium. Only dicots produce this vascular cambium allowing secondary growth.